Hello and welcome again to Ruin Arc. T -t uh, it seems as though we got lucky and uh, we don't have to worry about reality falling apart this time. We actually get to keep our save. Yay! Uh, and on that note, let's take a second to look at our portal. Our portal is hurt. Let's repair said portal. I'm going to take a hunk of change to fix. We're gonna, and are still here trying to fix all the humans. It's one, two, three, four. Uh oh, where's five? I need movement. Got that T Rex vision right now. There's Titania. Or Tanya right now, actually, so I need to worry about that. Uh, let's oh, hold on. Ooh, okay, so we have people actively going to hunt down uh, the other, they're heading to the human city center. And the only reason that an outside force would do that is because they're up to some sort of mischief. So we're gonna hit them with a meteor uh, because honestly, screw them. I have no love for these people. I think this is far enough away to where uh, our demon will be safe. Oh, and the party itself is actually kind of uh, falling apart. We had the extra leeway from the threat being down to uh, make it to where we can use our demonic friend here as a force for good, I guess, which is extremely strange. Uh, looks like they're heading towards the outskirts of this other town over here, which I think means that they're going to go attack a local place. Which is pretty good for me. We got Vagrants over here. I think the Vagrants also need to die. Let's do a little wellness check for people over here. It seems one, two, three, four, five. They're all good. And if it comes down to it, we do have the ability to heal. I mean, not the dead. Screw them. But we can heal if we need to. Speaking of, I guess we're just going to go ahead and just... Go ahead. Get our little demon boy's health all the way back up. And I don't know. What's he going to do from here? Find someone to murder. Okay, that works out pretty well. This one appears to be blessed, of course. Everyone that I want to have go down really badly just ends up being blessed. But we can do this. Give him the zips. Uh, unfortunately, that appears to have electrocuted and froze our demon. We're going to just unsummon him so we can use him later for emergencies. But as long as we can keep uh, the elves from ransacking what's left of the humans over here, we're going to be just fine. And we did quite a number on this village's population, honestly, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, well, they went down quite soon. I think this is the guy, call it a hunch, but I think this is the one who might have kleptomania. Or he's just a hoarder. <laughs> no no, uh, no judgment, I suppose. Are you in an affair? No, that's your husband. Okay, that's fine, too. How about, oh, you're the village leader at this point, right? Preach to your husband. Like, are you the settlement and faction leader? Hell yes. All right. So we'll do that. Did it work? Uh. Does not appear to have worked. What the hell is that about? Hey. How do you not have more pull with your own family? Come back here. See, zap, afflict. No. I mean, I don't want to inflict you with anything. You're not already particularly strong to begin with. So, whatever. I guess we'll get away with that. <sighs> and try again later. Um, Gerwindle, or whatever the hell. That's, I don't think we're going to be worrying about that either. But since we have um, a plant here in charge of the stuff. Disguised, hostile. They're still hostile to humanity, it seems. Yeah, Vorar, too, we, as part of that village, they appear to be stuck on that. So we're going to have to keep our eyes and ears open. And it's kind of going to be a weird dance. We're going to let our threat go down a little bit for now, actually, I think. Because um, if we come after them too hard, then we'll end up with not enough mana or spells off cooldown to defend ourselves in case we have to go really hard to stop an invasion of elves to save the humans. Then we won't have the spells and demons to protect ourselves in case the angels decide that is enough and enough so they don't watch my threat well enough in this playthrough, apparently. So just... I'm just trying to carefully do stuff, keep things in mind, you know. Things I have to do. I don't know what the hell just happened here. Stuck in their home, starving. Are you the one I paralyzed? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. But on that note, I think I can get another cheeky kill by paralyzing the one taking care of the paralyzed person. And then you over here, you're an alcoholic going through withdrawals, which is kind of fun. I think we can afflict you with some hot-headedness, and that will make it easier for you to self-destruct and tear that place down. Another death, some dare. 
Drowned by a Triton, disappeared forever. If I can ever get a Triton, it'd be amazing. It's a uh, disabler for all that stuff in range. This guy was fishing over here. This is a great new building, by the way. A really... I don't know. These small touches, like small buildings dedicated to one thing, really like just jump out at me for some reason. It's, it's hard to explain, but it is amazing stuff. Um, it's actually not that great of a summon to grab, honestly. Like AoE, disable, I guess, basically it's like one of these demons right here. So I guess in a way it's good for that, because that's a really powerful ability. But the demon ability, I'm pretty sure is 100% more powerful. So, yeah, I don't really care that much. Careful over here, by the way. Careful about that. Don't want you to accidentally have terrible, deadly things happening to you. The only person who, like, she likes it would be her husband. So I'm going to have her queue up the ability to take care of that. I will go check the humans. They appear to be fine. And the chickens over here have all that power. These two are just parallels on top of each other. I am very tempted to just hit them with a meteor, but I won't, because I am practicing self-control. Who are you? A chase, starving, sulking diplomat who's paralyzed. Did I paralyze you? Did... what? Hold on. Why are you out here just kind of paralyzed? Scream for help, scream for help, scream for help. Oh god, that is actually kind of depressing to read. Let's get away from that and go over here. They are attacking each other for reasons I don't know. Defending self, apparently. Frozen shock, sudden attack, frozen shock, sudden attack. Might be because she was trying to preach to her husband. Cannot confirm or deny such a thing. But since he died relatively close to stuff, I have to actually go ahead and defend myself from a friggin' ghost. And a demon should be enough to be able to take out a ghost. It's weird how the ghost is absolutely beeline for the portal, though. Not a fan of that. I am a fan of my demon going and uh, doing terrible things to this village, if I can pull that off. Who are you in this bed right here? They're also evil. That's going to be me uh, hitting me with that hard kidnap ability. Going over here to... Huh. Hold on. Got a... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no. Defiler is there. Sorry, ma'am. I, uh, it, it's been some weird time. I thought I had certain buildings and I didn't. Angels, demons, that sort of thing. You understand. Uh, let's check her mood real quick. It's already going to be pretty easy to get her with this 55, but we can hit her with a demon eventually, and that would be really good and take stuff out. Cowering in terror. Shocked. You should be fine. Although it appears they have killed someone and now a ghost. Uh, roams the land. Do we have any demons left to defend ourselves? He is slaying a villager. Still alive, technically. Has a pair of undead. We need to make sure that they do not all die. And the undead decide to move in on humanity. One of our demons was just killed. That is unfortunate. But now we have Alarembor's ghost going after Gorfin, which is a thing that is occurring, I suppose. Not gonna really worry about that for now. Just gonna keep an eye on this other evil person. She's probably gonna lose her mind from morning at some point. Really angry at Id Post right now. I get it. Gonna be more angry when she figures out her husband's dead. But that's also quite fine. I'm here to kill all of your friends. I uh, feel no remorse for my actions. Because you can't be trying to usurp my work down here. What is going on down here? Did they get immigrants in or something? That has to be the case uh, because they were like all of these people that seem to be new. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Has arrived. Has arrived. Has arrived. Yes. Yes. That is exactly what happened. That is not great for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to make them have every mental illness we can come up with. We'll get paralysis on the back burner at some point. Find out who is tough out of all these new people right here. This is an persuasive, inspiring person. So we're actually going to have to come back to them and do something terrible to them. I guess we have the mana uh, or something. I don't know who this is. We'll just get these intels out of here. I do not remember this from yesterday. They're disinterested. How rude. That's someone's life. Uh, drowned by a triton. Just like the second he popped out over here. Bodies of water are apparently extraordinarily deadly. Like just crazy deadly. Hard to fathom how deadly they are. I'll put these snares here to catch them on the way back through. We'll put a freezing trap here and there. And then we're gonna move on. We've that's the Triton who killed him. 
they apparently have finally died of starvation. Uh, probably for the best, honestly, at this point. They're having a terrible life. Check on you. I think it might be time to go ahead and hit you with the Envy Demon. Put that dark cloud hanging over you. And looks like we are at 73%. That is good enough for me. Hit that brainwash. Did they manage to do portal damage? Because it looks like a ghost made it over here. But Balrong is, of course, uh, Balrong, who is quite tough. We're going to go ahead and give him a heal as well. Why not? Make sure our strong demons uh, stay up to date. Someone built a mine shack. That's pretty neat as well. Where did he build that up? Right next to a thing right there. How incredible. Could not be brainwashed with a 73. That is a... Uh, those are some unfortunate circumstances. We'll try again in just a few seconds, though. I'm not really hung up about that. Really, we're just trying to wipe out the elves, or at least make them so subservient they're not going to be going after our precious little human pets in the corner. Let's see. What's also really fun about this being right here, and the more I think about it, the better this is, is they'll keep trying to fish here, and probably dying to tritons, which I cannot detect for some reason. I guess they're ambush monsters? Which is... Hmm. I wonder, there's got to be more variants on that, right? Like, once for land, too, probably something somewhere for that. Let's also keep an eye on our humans to make sure they don't get too uppity. One, two, three. Sleepy heads. Maybe some of them are married. I'm assuming as much. That is a full graveyard of people, though. I don't even know what took these people down. There are no, like, monsters here, right? Oh, they're actually also burying elves? And a lot of them. Holy shit. Why are so many elves buried in a human graveyard? And so many humans are being accidentally killed by demons that I'm not watching, so I need to keep an eye on that as well. I feel like I'm doing okay about that so far, but, you know, never be too sure. Uh, we got snares and freezing traps going off pretty constantly, but they're either managing to get out or someone has a really big heart. I'm not sure. I'm assuming people are, like, saving each other, but I, who knows. I'm going to put another snare there, and we're going to put another freezing trap there. And these two should eventually starve to death, which will be a fun, hilarious time for us. I kind of want to speed the process up. We have a spare meteor. I think we have three charges right here. Um, looks like they're going to try and do that. Let's go ahead and give that guy a zap so he forgets all about them. Or at least try to. As they're screaming for help, it might make it a little bit more difficult. No, nope, I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh, it looks like he's going to go heal someone who is over here in this trap. You know what? I don't like your big heart. I really don't. Take a meteor to the head. Uh, I think that may have knocked him out. We're also going to hit them with the meteor. Just because we're filled with spite and malice, we want something to be going our way. Um, ooh, poison. We'll do that. And we're going to have to pause because we're up to 93 threat. And then we did the exact thing that I said that we shouldn't do earlier. Oh, it's such an insidious thing, this uh, this desire for... Uh, can I say that? That's, that's probably too mean and edgy. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. It's like the desire to be cruel and evil and whatever. Like, nah, nah, thank you. I don't want to come across as that guy. Trying too hard or whatever. Oh, I think we may have actually got a kill out of that, though. Uh, hard to believe that hitting someone with a meteor actually kills them. Weird, right? Oh, that person got turned into 200 elf meat. That'll do it. Uh, what are you? You are a spooked, worried everything else thing. There goes the freezing trap. We should also make him hot-headed just for funsies. We can't even kidnap the other evil person again yet because our threat's so high. So we're going to chill on that. I want to use this Necronomicon, but as I remember correctly, or whatever her name is, is suspicious, and that means she will try and attack the book, even if it's a gift from us, which is not my favorite thing. I wish I could remove that, but I think I had to have the meddler have access to doing that so it's possible in the long term i just can't do it right now speaking of things i can do right now let's go ahead and hit some more of these snare traps we'll put one doesn't really seem to matter where i put one actually on the way back to her house i believe and is this your place yep <laughs> uh, don't mind them holy hell and your house is mostly destroyed. There's no danger of them ever starving to death, so I, I guess that's a thing I don't need to worry about. But it would be kind of cool if I could attack their livestock and deal with them that way. But no, 
No chance of that going to happen, I don't believe. Uh, where is the evil one? Who is it? You? I'm pretty sure it's you. All right, we got that low enough to where... The, what is this, 12? Yes, grab that 12. I think recently they changed the uh, the threat amount on some of our... Um, or some of the uh, actions that you can do. I'm not sure what changed to what and how, but it is pretty interesting. I'll have to like, relearn that and double check. I'm not accidentally going to be doing something to get myself killed. She sure took the long way to get to this magic circle, but you know what? Uh, I'm really grateful for it. Reminisce some about someone's grave. Performed a dark ritual. Whose grave? That is a scary place to be around. Be careful near the water's edge. Like, honestly, I... You will die horribly, and everyone will suffer for it if you're not careful. By everyone, I mean me, because... Well, obviously. I'm the important one here. That's why I'm doing all this, just kind of showing off what I'm doing. I'm the big bad guy. You know, once the population got cut down over here, life seems to really improve for humanity. There's no monsters. You know, I bet this is actually in a way... Hold on, did they worship the divine? I bet they think that I'm actually some sort of goddess. Hot 9 to 10 odds. Also, that'd be a cool feature to have eventually. Um, reacting to other divine events like... I don't know. The goddess corrupting the Necronomicon and making it to where whoever reads it becomes like an undead hunter. That would be sick. Oh, man. Giving them jobs that are like Monster Hunter or something like that? Or like specific one, like a witch hunter or that sort of stuff to the villagers? It would be amazing. I'm gonna have to pitch that idea out there. Bam, we're gonna hit them with the Envy Demon once again. No celebrating. We're having a bad time today. How the hell? What? Did it not work? The Envy Demon attack did not work on her. How odd. Is it because of some personality thing she has? She's entertained. No, nope. she's ensnared. That's something. Uh, it should be really powerful to have working for us. It's just going to take forever to get her all the way down. And to get another Envy Demon to hit her with. I'm wrong. That thing recharges really quickly. So never mind on that. Let's do another check to make sure they're not getting raided. And... Still, like, such a high threat level. Snare trap next to his bed. Freezing trap in their house. And let's go take another... Biffrens is my demon's name. I think he died of embarrassment. Try again with the Envy Demon. And that should hit her. There we go. Okay, that's going to be a hard 73. We'll go for a brainwash on that again. And we'll go find our other cultist here. I don't think she has any friends, but we can try and preach to someone. I hate that elf right there, but it might be our best way in. Let's go uh, try and preach to that guy. I think they may have joined. And it might be possible that we can get that guy working, and that would lighten. I think that's something that can wipe out Nerdinians or whatever. Holy shit, how is it like she's getting these 73s and it's not doing it for her anyway? I will keep throwing you in prison until you either work for me or die. There's not any other options here. So just gonna let that kick around in your head for a second. But we're not playing any games. Back to jail for you until you decide to work for me. So fucking ungrateful. Dodging two 73s. How dare you? Honestly. Give me this mana back. Why are you sad? It's not like they're dead. bit over dramatic so what is your deal anyway all of these mental illnesses and you'll still find it any to care for others that would be stopped from doing evangelize I think our cultist might be getting killed here maybe or actually she's trying to kill someone else nope none of that ah fuck zap actually generates threat my bad all right so uh, we know what we do here we throw down emergency buildings try and get their attention if at all possible uh, looks like they are uh, getting together all around this one spot we will brainwash this elf to try and get that cooking for now uh, we're also going to drop down 
an envy demon right here and a greed demon I'll try and hit them with that as far as like spells uh i think if i drop a meteor over here it hits them but i'm not sure can i snare trap an angel no you can how about that we can also leave a freezing trap on our own land i bet how many are you down to that's three dead or like three left and we have two meteors we should still be fine I'm just hammering away okay let's go one and two give him a heal with our magical power with the lightning and heal him again all right now that i'm remembering that i can actually heal my guys that's a lot more powerful well, we just lost two people i don't know why that is did we get a cultist out of it yes we did What's your deal? What's you up to these days? Please tell me you're not suspicious. Also, where's our demon? Okay, there's an angel down here. Are you still ensnared? Uh, technically. So we're going to go ahead and take you, unsummon you for now. And where is our other cultist? You might be able to finish this off with the good old necromancy. I mean, might as well, right? While we have the... Uh, Come on. There we go. There we go. Now go. Eh, don't join the Elven Kingdom. Not yet, anyway. And actually, if we have an angel imprisoned that's not doing anything, well, now we just have a necromancer who permanently is working for us hold on, hold, on, hold on not only do we have the necromancer permanently working for us we no longer have to worry about threat because we have an angel locked away oh that's that can't be intended <laughs> but are we gonna take advantage of it you bet your sweet ass all right let's see how do how do i want to do it let's find out elves of destroy let's see there's this dude Who's got the, the paralyzation? That's fine. Don't want to worry about that. We got this one right here. Who's going to have a bad case of getting hit with a meteoritis? Just going to go ahead and just kind of. <laughs> I could just do whatever I want. Here, take that. There's a snare trap for you. No. I said we're not having fun today. You can go ahead and like, get poisonous food. And that should handle that. I can't believe this is a thing. But we gotta just take him out as fast as possible now. Stop being... There, it's zap. It's not working. Okay, what about you? You're already paralyzed. You're sleeping. That's like paralysis, I guess. I've been waiting to paralyze you. You've been making things difficult for me. And there's like one more. I know there's like one more around here somewhere. And it's this person over here stuck right there. Put a freezing trap right there. Throw a demon at him. There we go. There you go. Here's a friend. Demon friend. There we are. So, uh, ooh. Our necromancer is not classified as a cultist anymore. We're actually going to have to keep an eye on them. And maybe seize them away if uh, they start to get the stupids. Actually, hold on. Seize them away right now. Because I 9 to 10 odds they are going to get the stupids. I can't put them in jail. I can't imprison them like this. That is a bit of an issue. Um, I'm going to stick them in this cave over here. Before they start bringing undead. Because it looks like they were heading immediately towards the humans. Which we do not want that at all. Because that could lead to terrible stuff. This person is apparently... Hold on, what happened to you? Killed by a demon. That'll do it. Uh, speaking of our demon, let's go try and find him. No. No. Bad. Why can't you just be good and kill the ones that I want you to kill? The fact that you're still alive blows my mind, by the way. I have to, like, give you credit where it's due. Just being alive, despite what I've tried to do to you, is uh, incredible. Absolutely mind-blowing. There you go. Frozen solid. Assaulting Furbeer. Uh, well, wherever Furbeer was going on, they restrained a ghost and put it in jail. Humanity has my respect in this one. Although there also happens to be fire everywhere for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that. We're so close with elves just all being dead. 
fact that they're not all dead already is blowing my mind. Where's this other guy I just froze? Well, let's find him, I guess. There they are. Let's go ahead and just bop him with some lightning. Make them have a terrible time. And then we have enough juice left for a meteor. But they are quick. They are quick. And apparently he is, what, catatonic? Witness something surprising? I don't know what he's doing. Uh, sulking. He's ensnared. Oh, I forgot to put a trap there. So, if I were to just leave them alive, it would actually... This is already a win for me. Can I give you orders? Not without a meddler. Oh, so close to being a good thing. Preach to... You know what? Go preach. Can I still make them do that? If I could sick them as an undead on top of somebody... That would actually be pretty solid for me. But I'm not sure if that's going to work. Going to the Afat Cemetery. That will work. I'm okay with that one going down. There's stuff there that they can actually do. And we can do something to take care of them. Uh, I don't have Seas Villager. Not having to worry about threat is so powerful. I can't really believe it's working. Oh. Well, it looks like this person right here is about to ruin it for me. I need to save. I don't even have a seize villager, do I? I could maybe zap the angel. No, or like I was gonna try and heal it to keep it alive. Now all the angels are down, and now he's gonna try and suck up our life energy. Uh, do we have our other demon back? Because that's probably gonna be what it takes—is like just consecutively, non-stop throwing demons at people. Uh, throw like demon there. Zap them to keep them down. And hopefully Marbach goes and kills other elves instead of just, you know, messing with my stuff. Man, that Ankh has some high range on it. Holy shit. But now the undead actually work for us. But they are hostile to Vorha or whatever the hell. Hmm. As long as they're going in the right direction, I don't think it matters. Why are you not dead? You have been paralyzed for so, so long. Just have the good grace to die, please. Serving for help. From who? Who is going to help you? This other guy? That is also just stuck paralyzed in his house? I feel like you're overcomplicating this a little bit. Um, looks like they're going to try and throw more ghosts in jail. As a general rule, the humans are really tough, so it'll probably work, honestly. Yep, there they go. <sighs> it's like I'm doing chores right now. Uh, can you? Can I instruct you to kill somebody? That would be so much better for me. Doesn't really look like it. Glitter Wendell hates them. That's their rival. I can do that. Maybe hopefully that will get them to go kill their rival. I don't know if vagrants count. It was like a ruling for that, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. Uh, we have Ursus still here. We have our undead somewhere. We have to be really careful, though. Hopefully they just went back home. Where the hell are you? Uh, bruh, where are you at? Okay, there you are. Heading back home to the monster lair. And they left their undead to try and take down Gerwendel, or whatever her name is. Did you just get too tired? It's like, just like, hell no, this is not my job. Here, zap. At least take her down if you're going to do that. I guess vagrants don't really count, or, or they should, or something. I don't know, but that is one tough bitch. I have to give it to her. She is tanking a double skeleton fight pretty much by herself. He's dead now, though, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Do I got another meteor? I have another meteor and some lightning. Let's just seize. And drop you next to your friend. Hit with meteor. Down to 1. 10. Okay, well, we're going to do some pips up to like 92. Actually, 88. Excuse that. And we should be on the way out. Why are you so impossible to kill? I don't understand. Go kill. Kill and murder and maim. Take people. Like, get rid of that last elf. We're so close to being done with this one. If only I could weaponize the pigs. We have so much power. Did I lose my other demon? Ah, oh, the shit. Well, I guess that works out for the best, honestly. Because I can... Well, I have to put it on my terrain, don't I? 
We'll have the demon just guard right here. We don't have our greed demon back yet, but we will soon. But I... Uh, hold on. I say combat? Is this it? The ghost is just going to take this guy out? This guy who is somehow at full health? How the hell are you at full health? You're a paralyzed, paralyzed, starving, malnourished, sulking, spook, burning criminal. I am on fire. Actually, being on fire seems to lower the mood quite a great deal. I have to give him a... Give him a little extra something. Give him a zap. We almost have another lightning blast we can hit him with, so we can try to accelerate this process. I'm afraid of killing the ghost, honestly, but... No, we'll wait. We'll wait, like... Three... Two... One, and that should be it. We did it! The good guys win! G kind of. I mean, technically, maybe. Does that count? I'm not sure. Uh <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so, that's a lot of fun. Here, you know what, since we're at the back end of this, I'll give you a little a gander at the uh, new creation menu. I was doing this, one of these scenarios, I unlocked these other two. Which is Lich Only with Plague, which I, I've done that a few times by myself. Mm. And then there's Pito, which is something about an old god where you have to build a cult to a ritual to like, end their influence. But that's not what we're here for. I will do these soon, probably for the next video. But look at these custom menus. Bam. You can do so much customization here. Add change biomes. Like extra large biomes. Look at all that. A number of factions increases. Change their names, change what kind of empire they are, change the number of, like, villages. You can get so many villages. I actually don't know what would happen if I stacked them up this high. Would the map break? Would the map break? Or would I just be, like, constant, never-ending war between all the factions? Kinda got want to check that out at some time. I may do that after I finish off with the custom scenarios, but you can do a whole lot. And they can even change your victory to like never end the game or do more migrations and change biomes and cooldowns and charges and dir 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 dir. you can go on forever and do a whole lot of uh, changing poss possibilities there. But I think that's going to be all we do for today before I get like, like thick in the customization. I wish you could pick monsters, but that would probably be too much, I would say. If you pick monsters, you'd end up like, I would just stack dragons and just have them terrorize the land. That would be fun, but it'd be kind of one note, so maybe it's for the best we can't do that. But that'll be it. Thank you for coming by and checking out the channel. There will be more Ruin Arc in this update and checking out more stuff uh, in the future. And you can also come find me on Twitch, 10 Central Time in the Americas, if you want to try uh, have a look at me trying out other games. I got there eventually. Yes. <laughs> Take care, and I'll see you next time.